Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Crusader Kings 3, a new game out by Paradox Development Studios, the sequel to Crusader Kings 2, and in this episode we're playing part 3 in our Let's Play series of a run-through as the Duchy of Georgia. Uh, in our last episode, our 16-year-old uh, son and heir took over the reign of uh, Georgia uh, due to killing his father by mistake uh, in a surgical procedure. The 16-year-old was, by my own idiocy, put in charge of being the, um, the physician for the court. That didn't go well. Uh, in, this, in that last episode, Prince Ashot began his reign. Uh, he was married. He's in the process of hopefully beginning to build a family. We haven't expanded the duchy yet, uh, but the hope is to begin fighting some wars and expanding the duchy as we sort of develop our capital and continue to make it a more glorious uh, place. But uh, that being said, uh, let's just jump right in. This was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel from a couple of days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let my live streamy self take over and we'll jump back into the live stream. The Raptured, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it, dude. And Daniel Cadbury, thank you for the follow. Ah, good old Crusader King's experience. <laughs> Pesky171, thank you for the follow as well. Okay, so primary heir of the wrong dynasty. We really just need to start popping out babies. So so do that, okay? The Cosmopolitan, also thank you for the follow. So Prince Ashot, would you please start having children? Your wife is 16. I would like her to gain the trait of pregnant. Because then if her frailty causes her to die in childbirth, we can have you marry someone else while you're still of child-rearing. Eight years. Actually, maybe what we should do... Romance? Attempt to romance. Gaining prestige, improving the opinion of you, and possibly becoming soulmates. Seduce. Oh, shit. An attempt on my life! I was riding through the streets of Tel Aviv when a mob screaming and shouting peasants descended on my retinue. Thankfully, my guards did not hesitate to start cutting them down left and right while I made my way back to the castle. This was undoubtedly the work of that vile churl, Dox Nasra. Why? He's a vassal of the Byzantine Empire. Why would he try and kill me? You gain watchful for two years. You lose a hundred opinion of him. You're allowed to rightfully imprison him. All close family members and spouse of you lose 60 opinion of him for 20 years. Well, here's the problem. At one, I don't have the option to uh, imprison him. He's not in my, in my territory. I could declare war on him, but then we'd go to war with the entire Byzantine Empire, which seems like a bad idea. So, I mean, I, I can't really do anything. A murder scheme on me has been abandoned. I guess that's good. Now that it's been exposed, maybe? That's why? I can't... I mean, I'm not gonna... He's of the senior branch of my dynasty. Even so, though... I can't imprison him. It doesn't give me that option. It's not Prince Raboon. I also don't... This doesn't let me scroll. I don't understand that. So, that's weird. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I can actually murder him, though. So, um... Where is he... There's got to be a better way to do this. Did 
There's only two people in our dynasty that are alive? That's it? The dynasty the rest of the dynasty is dead? Just me over here and then Prince Ropan over here? I also don't have a good enough uh, spy master likely to pull that kind of a scheme off. Rupan's heir is a child. I don't want to be the only one left in the family. I'm okay with, with where we're at now. What are our current, our current allies? 2,000 soldiers. 150 soldiers. Prince Grigor is imprisoned. Um, all right, we're still working on development of, of this province. We're up to level 11 development in this in this province, by the way, the core of, of our duchy. The flanks don't seem to be developing along the same lines, though. So I'm not sure how much higher it has to get. So if we romance her... I gain stress from romancing my wife, and it's not even likely that it works. Also from swaying her. Or seducing. Do I... I don't gain stress from seducing her. So I'll start the scheme of seducing her. While I was at the market with Sukio, her attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. When the man begged for water, Sukio immediately promised to bring it and soon returned from a nearby well, letting the criminal drink from her cup. Without kindness, the world falls apart. The criminal is not even worth your attention. Uh, I mean, I don't want more stress, so... Go ahead and be compassionate. No, I can. I could try and seduce her. I've got a 40% chance of seducing. For some reason, romancing doesn't work for someone who's shy, but seducing does. So go you, you figure that out. Okay, so we did raise all our levies now. So we have 1,100 soldiers. That's 1,051 levies, 100 bowmen, and 7 knights. In terms of our knights, they're pretty decent. Most of them, anyway. We have a good amount of gold in the bank, which is necessary for when we raise our soldiers. We'll go into the red. My uncle was taken prisoner. So I don't see any options here ever to, like, get these people out of prison. So I'm not sure why it lets me know that. Okay. Trying to seduce my wife. It's going to take 17 months to seduce my wife. My uncle was released. Oh, oh, all right. So there's a new bishop. He does not endorse me. My counselor died. People just dying left or right. He must have just been in my court. This guy sucks. This bishop's terrible. You know what we should do? Let's do this. Maybe we can make our folks like me if we go on a pilgrimage. So it's going to cost us gold. But we can go on a pilgrimage to try and appease the church. It is time to set out for my journey to one of the holy places. But which one? The site of Jerusalem? The Churches of Constantinople. Uh, 
Alexandria. They're all really expensive. Let's wait on a pilgrimage for now, I guess. What does conse consecrate bloodline mean? I don't have the trait humble. Okay. My bishop doesn't like me. I mean, I could give him a gift. I really don't like the fact that I'm shy. It really bothers me. I need to be not shy. Like, this is a great ruler in the sense that, like, with this kind of... Ugh, hearts and minds. I have been made aware that Princess Philippia is very close to her mother, Duchess Anna. Gaining her favor may help me catch Philippia's attention. I will get Anna whatever she asks for. Surely anyone would feel blessed by a gift of gold. Yeah. She gains a, a, a favor hook on me, but whatever. Anything for the mother, for your mother. You really need to have babies now. Please work on that. Please don't go to war with me, folks. All my neighbors seem to hate me. Hey, my wife is bearing child. Huzzah! Frostband, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, so my wife is with child. Hopefully the... She is frail. She's frail, and she's ill. Somehow she's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm frail and I'm ill, but I'm fine. I'm also pregnant. Okay. And you're gluttonous. Okay. Just have the baby be, be good, right? Let's get to that... Uh, to that... That air... Also, I think my primary heir is now, now my sister, who's... Well, no, she's not of age yet. I don't know why my mother would get, get my claims. I'm just banking on the fact that she's much older than me, that it's okay. But she's only 30 years older. I mean, she could definitely live longer than me, especially if something bad happens or someone tries to murder me or something. I think I'm still the culture head, right? I am. No offense, but your wife is ugly, J.R.R. Reagan. Well, it's not my real wife. It's only my pixelated wife, so I... No offense taken. Come on, wife. Is it nine months yet? Have the baby. Please be a boy. So we're st I'm still seducing her? I'm still romancing her even though she's pregnant? Oh, you, that's interesting. The graphic, you can tell she's pregnant. The celebration has come to an end and the evening entertainment seemed to be over when Princess Philippa suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear and I seek my chance to impress. Something pious like the golden legend. Awkward interactions. If she's not impressed, everything goes according to plan. Let's be entertained east of Indius. It doesn't give me an op it doesn't give me a percentage. What's her personality again? 
She's just calm, gluttonous, insightful. She's an analytic paragon. I can't tell how pious she is. I guess... Not super pious, it doesn't look like. I guess entertainment. As the clerk drones on and on, I can tell she's uh, her attention is slipping. While I'm thinking of how to salvage the situation, my Yarl suddenly chimes in and asks, May I humbly suggest we read the Golden Legend instead? Why didn't I think of that? But hey, at least Jarl, whatever his face is, helped me out there. Awkward interaction, though, so that's not great. We're almost to the next military trait, by the way. <laughs> New heir! He's a son! He's a boy! Woo, woo, woo! All right. Praise St. Bridget. Philippa, Philippa. Philippia has given birth to a perfect little son. One day our child will carry on my legacy. What would we like my name to be? Let's name him Bagrat. No, let's name him after my father. David. He died young, so I assume I miss him. May you grow up wise and young, my son. Alright, so another martial perk is unlocked. We'll go with courtship. That helps the romance scheme. I don't know if it helps after it's already underway. Cradled by sickness. All babies cry, but with little David, there's no end to the tears. I desperately want my midwife to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. Your son is not gaining weight as he should. We will take care of him, my lord, but in the end, his life is in God's hands. Oh, no. He's sickly. If I had a physician, would they... Would they tend to him my son is sickly severe penalty I should educate my child I'm very smart <laughs> I am very smart I should become my child's ward Prince Grigor was taken prisoner again? Who are they at war with anyway? Oh shit. Dude, these people, the Khazaria, they're coming down. They're now on my border on both sides. How powerful are they? 6,600 soldiers. This guy's 55. He's still in the prime of his life. He has a son who hates me even more. Negative 78. Oh, my goodness. We're screwed, guys. This kingdom is going to crush me. I've got about 1,100 soldiers. I'm known for my dedication to my faith. So we just became faithful, I guess. I mean, I guess the thing is, my plan is to save all the money I have and then just, you know, save all the money I have and then raise a shit ton of mercenaries and pray. We also do have allies that'll add like two or three thousand, but they're powerful. You're a serene man, Ashot, but I do not like you that way, since Princess Philippa appears to be deep in thought. Only God knows what the future might hold for us. Okay. So I guess that plot failed. Um, we cannot seduce her again for a while. God, being shy is so bad. It's such a bad trait. I can't... How do I lower my stress? All 
right. Should we should we find another ally? Hey, she's pregnant again. You know, for someone who's not really in love with me, she's sure popping out the babies, huh? These guys have 2,000 soldiers. She's my sister-in-law. There's a risk of them being inbred. But I'm okay with that, because I need the alliance. Empty council position. All right. I need a new steward. My strong vassal wants to be it, but he sucks. He doesn't hate me too much. I don't really have anyone who's any good, though. Oh my god, how is everybody so bad at finances? Wife, you're going to need to help these people out because this guy may be a powerful vassal, but he doesn't know jack shit about money. She's popping out the babies, but are they yours? Yes, every child is mine. She still has a positive opinion of me. So, yes, they better be mine. Is my son still sickly? Does this ever go away or is this permanent? Ugh. I'm still not endorsed by my bishop. I don't know why my bishop doesn't like me. Look at my freaking religious score, dude. I'm faithful. I don't want to send you money. I need, I'm going to need the money for when the golden horde comes down on me. We're going to raise another Bowman Regiment. I know it's going to spend a little bit of money that could be used on mercenaries, but if they're really good on the defensive and we are in hill terrain for our, for our city, I think that would be beneficial for us. Topo, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Ramgar. She's, she's a faithful wife, okay? You need that bishop's levy. Your golden bribe helps get some. I don't think his levy's worth the cost. I'd rather save the money. Honestly, I'd rather save the money. And use them on mercenaries. Let's increase both these regiments to size 2. I just spent almost all my money. That was probably foolish. But we're going to get, what, 300 more? So we're going to have 400 archers total. So that'll bring us closer to, I don't know, a decent size. My son, praise St. Bridget. Philippa is given perfect to a birth. You know this is going to backfire on me, right? What's going to end up happening is my duchy is going to be broken into like four pieces. We'll name him after my, I think, my grandfather. So my wife is popping out the children. Having a young prince is a, is a good thing in this case. But the succession's going to get complicated. Granted, one of our children is sickly, so who knows if, he, if he's going to last. We can also look to try and get another alliance. I didn't even look to see how old uh, the person I betrothed my first child to. Two... And one, so they're roughly the right ages. She's nine, that's a little bit old. By the time he's of age, she'll be like 25. The Duchy of. 
That's not a bad alliance. We've we've been allied with them before. So the Duchy of Ephraim. So we formed another alliance. So we now have three alliances here. Education at an end. My ward Sukulo has come of age, and it is time that she left my care. Without sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration such as Sukulo can come to truly understand it. Displaying a thoughtful understanding of the flow of gold and wandering of people, she even expresses a remarkable creativity in dealing with these matters. So she's betrothed to some guy. I don't even know if we're still allied to them. Um... She is a fortune builder. Her stewardship doesn't seem that great, but she has come of age. She's not my heir, though, so that's fine. She's already engaged. We have an alliance with Epirus, which is 800 soldiers. Resumda, which is 153. And these guys, which are 2,100. So we're just about, about 3,000 allied soldiers. Plus, we're going to end up having... What, 200 more? Another 50 bowmen, so 1,500. About 1,500 of our own soldiers, so about 4,500 soldiers total. Which probably isn't enough, but who knows, on the defensive maybe. Until we meet again, Zuglo. Oh, her trait just got assigned. So she is 12. That's average. Yeah, CT, but I don't know if I want to increase the men-at-arms size. I'm trying to rebuild my finances a little bit. All right, so that alliance was formed now that my, my sister married them. So that's another 1,700 soldiers who would come to our aid. So this would be a pretty damn big war if it broke out now. And who knows, maybe that's why the Kazara isn't attacking me, even though they really don't like me. Especially their heir. Really doesn't like me. Negative 78. These guys have 6,600 soldiers. Being raided. Pause. We're being raided by Chieftain Bastu in my territory. They've got 1,000 soldiers? Really? Alright. We can raise more than that. I'm com oh, no, who's commanding this army? My my commander who doesn't like me, Ashot. But he's a good commander. Alright, so we've fully raised the force. Fourteen hundred soldiers. Hilly terrain should benefit us. I can't let my capital get looted. Twenty gold would be a big loss. Twenty eight days. Oh, shit. Call to war. To the thoughtful prince of Ashot of Georgia, I call on you to honor your alliance to me and join a war against Doc Shaltong. He has 1,500 soldiers. Wait. Against the tyranny of him. He's allied to me. He's married to my sister. What? You want me to go to war against my brother-in-law? Oh, no, he's calling me a war against... I'm confused. He, Dr. Shrotron, is my ally. Oh, that's the war. The war is named against him. Okay, his enemy is the Count Christophorus Leokina and Count Grisomorus... Okay, whatever. So... He's fighting against his siblings? At least one of them. The strength is what? 700. Oh, for sure. I'll join you. Just let me deal with these, these bandits first, okay? That was a very confusing way that they worded it. Alright, the war... We've got a much better commander, and we outnumber the enemy. They have superior quality. We have elite quality. We have more knights. 
We're gonna lose a fair bit of casualties. Hey, we killed one of their knights. Meanwhile, Mayor Gregory was wounded. Okay, so if we pause here. Victory, we gained 41 prestige, 20 piety. We lost 97 men permanently. They lost 326. Meanwhile, where's this war we're fighting in? It's all the way down here. Okay. I don't want to move into the these bad guys' terrain. So hopefully they retreat away from us. We're going to be at war with these guys for five more months. I hate the idea of leaving my terrain my territory un, uh, undefended. But that's exactly what I'm going to have to do to go support our ally in this, this war. So, they're still retreating. They'll be raiding us for four more months. They're still retreating. So probably th at least three months before they stop retreating, and I'm hoping they don't come back to our territory. W.S. Larry, thank you for the follow. Moving down south. We'll see if my army even gets there in time. War score is already plus nine. I'd love to take someone ransom or something. I have a thousand piety and my bishop still doesn't like me. That's just horseshit. What are you, corrupt? I'm like God's frickin' chosen one. Uh, maybe it means we can beat them up at will. I've never seen them come back after, uh... Hey, my wife is pregnant again! Dude, she is... She is... Doing stuff. She's doing work? Is that is that crude to say? All right, they took that city, so let's move down here. You guys can go fight. I'll just take this city. I'd love to get some some captives that I can ransom. That's my goal. Give me some money. Hey, Bobby Dog. Why do the mountains and waves look so ugly? I think they look fine. I've become the head of the dynasty. There's never a quiet moment. My son and heir, David, is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I can't help but get exhausted. He's curious. That's probably good. Um, I'm not actually out with the army. My army's being led by my general, Ashot. So I don't think I'm actually fighting with the army. All right, so we gained eight loot from the province. We didn't get any prisoners. Um, so that should do it for the war, right? Growing strong, the weakness that has plagued my son since his birth has finally released its hold on him. Relief washes over me. As I see David running around with all the other children. Good job. He loses the trait of sickly. That makes me happy. Let's also go back to our court because I just realized I don't think I'm... Or not no, our court. Down to me. I don't think I'm having my new son tutored. So let's go ahead and educate him. Can I become the ward of two people? Guardian. Guardian. I guess I can. So is this war going to end? All right, victory. So we win we gain we win a victory in the war. What do I get? 
I get zero, I get no contribution. So be it. Two perfect little children. We have two more <laughs> siblings. Uh, a daughter and a son. Oh my god. Just... Are we gonna just start numbering them? <laughs> this is gonna be a problem. Alright, new martial trait. Focusing on marriage, since I have so many flippin' kids. You'd think some of them would die! Four children now, including twins. This is a problem in a confederate uh, succession situation. I don't have enough provinces to split amongst my children. And all but w three of them are boys. Did we just lose one of our alliances? Oh no, just a new head of the house. So we have four alliances. I don't is that a, is that our maximum number of alliances cuz we have two more children we can marry off now. My wife would actually probably be a decent educator. I can d announce or disinherit. Ooh, that would be a powerful way to keep your kingdom together. Disinherit everybody but your eldest. That would probably not go over well. So my wife is going to educate the other two children. These folks are... Betrothed. Where are these people? Map Hellbane, thank you for the follow. I don't know where these folks are. Oh wait, they're way they're way over here. Is there anybody else? These guys are in the southern tip of Italy. Sure, why not? Just marry them all off. Get me all the alliances. Do we really only... Are we maxed at four? I don't see another alliance there. Well then we'll wait to marry the next one off. Because I still only see four alliances there. Alright, so... Ramgar, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it, dude. Alright. Well, we've been streaming for almost four hours, guys. Um, we've had some success as the Duchy of Georgia. I was worried my line was going to end with this this uh, ruler. He had some health issues. His wife is frail. Our first child was sickly. And now we have three more children. So we're doing well there. A little bit concerned with this massive threat to the north. 6,500 soldiers sure is a lot. Um, they also are allied to another group of 3,000 soldiers. So yeah, that's a problem. 
I'm hoping, I don't know what the succession rules of tribal groups are, but I'm just hoping that they'll have a breakdown that when he does die eventually, his son who hates us even more will end up fighting over the throne. I'm not sure again what the rule is on their succession. They have seven claimants on the throne, I guess. So they could break apart into civil war, which would be great. There's one... I mean, they're all implicit claims, so... Although, is he dead? Yeah, shit. Well, that ain't good. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. Don't worry about Kassar. They're yellow. He's taken over. I mean, they've taken over. So one thing will be simple. If we can beat them in a war, we can build the kingdom of Georgia real fast because he's got all the territory we need to build the kingdom of Georgia. The problem is I don't think I can. Uh, but we'll see. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode. We fought a few wars, but we didn't really expand the duchy at all today. Uh, we are dealing, however, with the uh, sort of approach of the steppe people of the Khazaria uh, tribes that are advancing south. They've taken over almost all of the northern Caucasus. They've crushed several of our neighbors. The people of Georgia are uh, yearning under the yoke of their rule and the Duchy of Georgia is the strongest remaining Georgian cultural element left. What that means, we'll find out next time. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, I'm out.